So, uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Steven Zimmerman. I, uh, I'm the senior editor at XDA Developers. Um, and I'm doing a talk today on software licensing, which for us at XDA Developers is an extremely important topic as open source licensing is one of the key, key factors that makes, essentially makes uh, communities like XDA and Stack Exchange possible. Um, so this topic actually came up uh, as part of a discussion a couple months ago about what the worst possible topic you could do to talk about would be. What, it came up as a discussion on what topic would guarantee that everyone would be asleep by the end of it. So naturally I had to do it. <laughs> Alright, so let's jump right into it. Um, so software licensing is absolutely key. Um, before I get into that, actually, how many people here have used open source software in the past? Everyone, because we're Android developers here, so obviously. But how many people here feel that they actually understand software licensing? They have kind of have a feel for how it works, even like a basic one. Pretty much what we expected, because honestly, it's not written by developers. It's written by lawyers. It's legal matters, and we're not expected to have a full understanding of it. But we do need to have a base level understanding of it so that we know what we're getting into when we choose a permissive license or a copyleft license or avoid whatever license we choose for whatever reason. And hopefully by the end of this talk, you'll have at least that level of understanding. And it really is critically important because if you don't understand software license, the licenses that you're using, you can get into some serious trouble as a lot of companies have in the past a little bit. Most, no most notably recently was the whole issue with React Native and Apache. Um, it turned out that part of React Native's license that Facebook had required you to, essentially you would lose any ability to use it if you ever sued Facebook or got sued by Facebook at any point in time in the future. So, obviously that's going to be incompatible with a lot of licenses because, well, they're, most of them are designed around not being able to have the license taken away from you. But also that makes huge problems for your software stack if you build around it because if you ever end up in a lawsuit with Facebook, suddenly your entire, your entire website, your entire service, whatever is built on it is now completely unusable. Um, which kind of sucks. <laughs> But there's also a whole bunch of other problems that have come up. Oracle's been trying to sue Google for tiny little things in Android for quite a while. VMware uh, created an entire kernel that might be licensed completely differently than what they uh, intended to because they didn't really pay full attention to what the terms they were uh, signing up for when they used some other software. Um, Hancom, which creates a office suite that you find on Android and elsewhere. Um, may actually have to open source their entire software stack because they included one, uh, one specific piece of software and didn't realize that, it, or I guess they probably didn't realize that it was GPL, but didn't properly acknowledge it and properly integrate it the way it should have been. Um, and it's, <clears throat> sorry, and it's not like you can uh, ignore the license either. If you don't have a software license, if you're there, you don't have a license agreement with the company that made the software, or the or you don't respect the license that the software is licensed under, you have no right to use that software. As part of the GPL explicitly states, you if you do not uh, if, sorry if you do not have some license, you can't either the open source license or direct uh, license agreement with the company. You cannot use that software for anything that you're building on. Um, and that's where the enforcement of copyleft licenses come from because without, uh, if you don't respect the licensing terms, you can't use it regardless. Uh, so there's two main types of licenses, permissive licenses and copyleft licenses. And then there's a subset within copyleft of weak and strong copyleft licenses, but that's for another day. Um, and the main difference between them is that permissive licenses are designed so that the users of that license, uh, the users of that software, can have more control over what they can do with the, uh, with the software. It gives the users more freedom to potentially relicense or include in closed source programs or do various other things with it. Whereas copyleft licenses 
are designed to enforce the developer's uh, choices with the code, to make sure that the software stays under the same license. And they result in very different, uh, very different communities as a result. Uh, permissive licensing, you've got a whole bunch of licenses like Apache, MIT, BSD, uh, the Creative Commons, Creative Commons uh, Attribution License, Creative Commons, Creative Commons, uh, I can't remember the name of that actually, CC0, which releases all rights, and they tend to have fewer restrictions than, uh, or they by definition have fewer restrictions than copyleft licenses. They are designed in a way that companies can take the software and use it without having to put the code back out into the open source community, as you see a lot with Android, where while the actual base of Android is licensed under Apache, companies like Samsung, LG, and others will often, or almost always, take that code and use it in their ROMs without re-releasing uh, what their changes are. which. They're doing that for a reason. They want to keep their little proprietary secrets, secrets themselves. They want to be able to sell that uh, those features, and that's not bad. That's fine. That's what the license is designed for. But on the other hand, some people want their code to stay open. They want it to be set up so that um, when you, if you use the code, you have to also give back to the community, which is how the Linux kernel is set up uh, underneath Android. And it's a big part of why it's one of the most popular, uh, popular pieces of software worldwide, despite not necessarily being uh, so visible on user, user devices. You got it in almost every supercomputer in the top 500 runs Linux. A bunch of phones run Linux underneath Android. Routers, a whole set of stuff, whole set of devices. And that's because Copyleft licenses are designed so that if the <coughs> so that uh, the companies that as they use them, as they develop things for themselves, they end up giving it back to the community as well. They end up kind of building uh, building the program together as a group. In they're forced to do this, and you got a bunch of licenses that do that. You got the GPL, you got the uh, Creative Commons, Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike license. You got the IBM public license, and you have the Mozilla public license, uh, as we're here today. <laughs> um, and I mean, the, the whole it ends up with one question: which license do I choose? And it really depends on what you want to do with the program. If you want to create a library that someone anyone can take and put into any program that they want, and license it how they want. You're probably better off with something like Apache. You're probably better off letting people have more freedom to uh, act how they need. But if you want to create something that you want everyone to give back to, a copyleft license would be better in that case. And it really comes down to, as I said, what you want to do with the program. Now, there's a couple complications that come up, one of which is dual licensing. Uh, and that's when a program is licensed under more than one uh, software license which causes a ton of confusion because people often think that means they need to follow both licenses and in a couple cases you do but usually it means that the code is licensed so that you can pick and choose which one you want like how LibreOffice is licensed under both GPL and MPL and so that developers can use either of them into the, in their uh, program and in order to do a dual, dual licensing you need to be set up so that all code contributed can be contributed under both licenses which can block out a lot of code. Uh, unfortunately, you occasionally run into issues where the code is set so that you have to have, you have to use under both licenses, like OpenSSL, which can cause huge issues. But OpenSSL is working on a way to it to Apache 2.0, which will allow for more free use of it. Uh, and one way that people try and avoid this is with a CLA, a contributor licensing agreement. It gives the project leader the ability to uh, license the like re-license the code base under whatever license they want, which is good because it avoids those potential licensing issues, and also bad because it means that you may not have, the code may not stay the way you want it to uh, be licensed. You may end up with a very different uh, direction than you were aiming for. And it also, depending on which, it also has something which can be good or bad depending on how you're looking at it, 
in that it lets companies sell, take the code and relicense it under a commercial license to sell it to other companies. And any questions? <laughs> If you integrate a, G, a piece of GPL software, li, like a GPL library, into your code base fully, it, with how it's set up, you likely will have to also have the rest of the code base be um, open source. Sorry, a GPL. Uh, the LGPL is designed to uh, kind of get around that, which is the difference between strong copyleft and weak copyleft, in that you can link to other code bases without having to license that code under the same license. Uh, so it's kind of a well, in between situation between copyleft and permissive. Jeff? <laughs> is there a, um, like a, a website that kind of breaks it down in a, like a wizard or style kind of interface or whatever, you know, just to let someone, you know, each license has so many kind of nuances and, and different things. Like, is there a way to easily break it down and make that decision about which library to use? Absolutely. There are a bunch of tools out there that help with uh, kind of giving a summary of what licenses are like. I don't have them ready. Uh, I should have gotten ready, actually. Um, there's one that's like too long. Uh, yeah, it's something to do with that, but I can't remember the exact wording of it. Um, yes, yeah. there's a couple like that to try and summarize what licenses are. They're not going to be a perfect, a perfect snapshot of what the, how it all works, but it's going to give you enough of an overview to figure out what license you need for your project and hopefully get you on your way back to coding. Um, I'll have to look up what the exact name was. <laughs> yep? Are there any licenses, I mean licenses uh, I should keep an eye out for if I include them in my problem? As a rule of thumb, you stay away from them? Actually, yes, there are some licenses that have uh, substantial issues with them, and I didn't list on them for that reason. Um, most notably, uh, the CDDL, I think it was, uh, or one that Oracle used for a lot of their projects, has some issues that often make it incompatible with other licenses, and it's believed to have actually been designed to be incompatible with GPL by design, um, which caused a whole bunch of problems for Solus and a bunch of other projects. Uh, I don't have a full list of all the problematic licenses, though, because it really depends on what you're looking to do with your projects. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Are, are there any licenses? I mean, when I'm looking for a library, which are the licenses you say that it's, if it's this license, it's okay to use it? I know the list might be long, but maybe that's, that's uh, okay. Top of mind, definitely do not use no license. <laughs> definitely do not use no license. Because as I was saying earlier, if you use the no license, you're literally not giving anyone a license, and no one else can use the proper, which throws a lot of people off because they think no license means you don't need a license to use it. Not at all the case. Um, there's much more. Actually, I mentioned IBM public license, but a lot of people recommend against using that for because of how it's set up with the uh, the the legal burden falling on the uh, distributor rather than the co-contributors, which can cause substantial problems for reusing the software in other projects. And there's a couple other licenses that have issues, but. Again, it's going to come down to what you want to do with the project. Yep. Yep. You, uh, so you, you mentioned uh, early on that like Facebook was pursuing somebody, uh, uh, or, or there's like a problem with Facebook. They haven't sued anyone for it yet. Um, the problem is that React Native's license um, is set up so that if you ever get into a lawsuit with Facebook, you lose the ability to use the patents uh, relating to React Native. Yeah. So, which. Yeah. And anyone using React Native. Everyone using React Native, uh, if you get into any lawsuit with Facebook, you lose the ability to use the patents, um, which pretty much means your entire stack that's built on that is now useless. Yeah. Now, you can still use it if you aren't worried about that, but it is something to keep an eye out for. It's a risk, and it also makes it incompatible with some licenses like Apache, because the way Apache is set up, you automatically grant a license to the patents and you can't revoke it. Uh, 
Uh, do you have thoughts on why they would do that? Because some licenses will oh. just say uh, we, there's no express warranty, right? Like if it don't use this in measure critical things, we make no claims of how suitable it is for whatever task you're using it for. So essentially you did so that they would have protection against lawsuits. That's the, that's the short version. Because um, if everyone's using React and you can't, if you sue Facebook, you can't use React anymore, you can't sue Facebook. <laughs> essentially. Um, I, I'm sure there's more to it than just that, but that's kind of the main point of it. 